Oh, you're afraid your little efforts is gonna go to waste once you learn Node.js, aren't you? <laughs> what an idiot. Anyways, is Node.js still relevant in the year 2024? Now, before I answer, there's two types of people watching this video. Firstly, the one who seriously thinks Node.js might get vanished, and the one who just wanna watch the video because they know I make the best videos. By the way, the man in this type actually gets no big. If you're the first type, I just want you to pause the video and tell yourself, what have I done to myself? Why am I like this now? Is there any hope for me to recover from my disabilities? No wonder I got no big. Nah, seriously, what's gonna happen to Node.js? Well, the time steps will be available if you wanna skip the boring parts. Nobody gives a shit anyway. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows you to run JavaScript code outside of the browser. It was created in 2009 by Ryan Dahl, and since then, it has become one of the most popular technologies for web development. According to Stack Overflow's 2023 developer survey, Node.js was the second most loved and the fourth most used framework among developers. But as you know, the web development world is constantly changing and evolving. New frameworks, libraries, and tools are emerging every day, and some of them claim to be faster, easier, and more scalable than Node.js. So, is it outdated and obsolete? Well, the short answer is yes. I, I mean yes, it is still relevant. I wasn't answering the obsolete part. Node.js is still relevant and you should learn it. And here are some reasons why. Node.js is versatile. You can use it for a variety of applications such as web servers, APIs, microservices, desktop apps, mobile apps, IoT devices, and more. You can also use it with different databases such as MongoDB, MySQL, and Redis. And you can choose from a huge ecosystem of modules and packages that extend its functionality and make your life easier. Node.js is performant. It uses an event-driven non-blocking IU model that makes it efficient and lightweight. It can handle thousands thousands of concurrent connections and requests without slowing down or blocking the main thread. It also supports asynchronous programming which allows you to write code that doesn't wait for the result of an operation, but instead executes the next line of code. This way you can avoid the callback shit and write cleaner and more reliable code. Node.js is popular. It has a large and active community of fat-ass developers who contribute to its development and maintenance. It also has a lot of support from big companies such as Netflix, PayPal, Uber, and Walmart who use Node.js in their production systems and it has a high demand in the job market as more and more employers are looking for node.js developers according to indeed.com the average salary for a node.js developer in the u.s is one hundred and nine thousand dollars per year so wait wait a second is this true let me check holy sh then what the f am I doing on YouTube? So, as you can see, Node.js is still a great choice for web development in 2024. It has a lot of benefits and advantages that makes it stand out from the crowd. Of course, it also has some drawbacks and challenges, such as scalability, security, and debugging. But no technology is perfect, and Node.js is constantly improving, unlike you. You still got no big But now, you want to learn Node.js, but don't know how? Well, who cares? Just take out your credit card, baby. You'll find the link of my private mentorship program down in the description. I'll be honored to be your personal mentor, and I'll see you in the next one.